Hello everybody, this is Andy, and welcome to episode 15. Is that where we are? I lose track now, because the in-betweens of recording sessions are so long this summer, because I have so much going on, that I just kind of forget what I'm doing. But whatever, uh, we have a lot of stuff to get done today, and the first thing is actually something I already did. Um, someone in the comments, I believe it was Sol, mentioned that ooh, we have an issue with our Terra Steel automation right here. Um, it could, when I set this up, send as many Terra Steel or a Terra Steel resting crafting. Cra wait, as many Terra Steel crafting recipes through to the terrestrial agglomeration plate as you know it was given, which means it would have always gotten stuck here. I added a eight second timer to this thing, so now it will only send one recipe through every eight seconds, and it will never jam up. Uh, another thing I do want to mention is apparently. All of the mana and terra items have the same, what is it called? Like same NBT data or metadata or or dictionary, one of those. Um, and the vacuumulator didn't differentiate in between them and it would just suck up all the items. So you do have to turn these use or dictionary, NBT or metadata on because they're technically the same item, I guess. In between episodes, our mana pools have filled up quite substantially. I mean, like, each one is maybe a quarter full, but for 49, 52, uh, that one's not full up, 52 mana pool pools, that's a, that's a good bit. Oh, another one, 53 mana pools, that's a good chunk of mana. Okay, so a tiny little bit of work later. This is the structure for the second blood altar. Uh, I just use the copy paste gadget to copy and paste the essential blocks here, and I need to fill in all of the blank rune spots. And then we should be good to go. Um, I don't have enough blank runes or dark steel right now to do that. So we're probably just going to get the first couple. Do I have, I have these in my system now. Yeah, I have them connected to here. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually make this the blood collection one. And we will shove our blood into the other altar um, using, we have, what do we make? We make, we made displacement runes. We also need 19 acceleration runes. And then this altar should be pretty much complete. If I can just get rid of some of these runes of self-sacrifice and replace them with sacrifice, maybe a couple speed, that should be good. Okay, and there we go. We have 19 accelerations runes on here now. That speeds are the operations we can do with the blood altar up to one operation per tick instead of one operation per 20 ticks, which is one second. Um, so we should pull out of the blood altar much more quickly now. This is tier five. That means it is completed. Uh, there is a couple blank spots still in here. I'll probably just put runes of sacrifice in there and replace these, like I said. Um, but this thing is pretty much done. Now it's pulling out a bunch of, ooh, actually, we're probably limited here by the fluid extraction from Ender.io. Let me grab Excel, or, um, extract speed upgrades. Make me like 10 of these. Okay, there we go. I have four uh, extraction speed upgrades in here, which is 500% or one bucket per operation. Oh, oh, this thing filled up but it can extract faster than this thing can fill up, which means we should be reasonably ready to go. Um, I'm gonna grab some of these other extract speed upgrades because we're also going to need to insert into this guy, which means we're probably gonna need 19 more acceleration runes. I didn't think about that, did I? Um, can I make more ender fluid conduits, please? Make me 100. And there we go, we're now extracting out of this guy and sending into here. But like I said, it's very slow. We're gonna need a bunch of displacement runes probably and 19 more acceleration runes to speed up this altar. Uh, as you can see, I've made it a tier three altar. Uh, we need a bunch more uh, blank runes to do that, but we don't have any dark steel right now. So yeah, I'm gonna leave this for the moment, craft up the acceleration runes and the uh, displacement runes, and then we can come back to it in a little bit. Also, I should probably get rid of this thing, shouldn't I? Since I'm entirely out of glowstone and I need glowstone for many different tasks, I thought, hey, why don't we go why don't we go to the end? Um I promise this makes sense. Uh basically what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get my agrocraft seeds entirely set up. Ooh, Elytra area. Um so I need to kill some shulkers to get 
I guess there's some watchers around too. Uh, I need to kill some shulkers to get some shulker shells. And shulker shells can be used to make big item filters, which I want to have in order to filter out our agricraft farm. Um, because some of the essences we're going to uh, craft directly into their thing because they're only used for one specific thing. But other essences like the cow essence, for example, we probably want to keep in essence form so we can craft it on site because it has a bunch of different uses. Does this have a bunch of different uses? Does not appear so and is probably useless. Yep. Okay. Uh, what else do we have here? Only for crafting. Basically useless. Useless. Speed. I'll take that. I'm. I'm thinking about making a dark school. Dark steel. Um, set of armor soon. Anyways, like a proper one, so we can have all of the enhancements from that. Because the armor I've been rocking currently is not the greatest. Not the greatest. We all know this. Um. But, oh, that's actually incredibly good armor. Okay, let me kill a couple of these guys. I'll get the stuff that I need, and I'll be right back. And here we kind of go. I have another drawer system set up here. It's hooked up to the ME system with the storage bus. And I've got the glowstone seeds 10, 10, 10, and shoved down there, which means we should have effectively infinite glowstone. Is that, is that the correct amount of glowstone? Oh, it's not connected because, um, because I don't have a drawer there. There we go. Now we've got a ton of glowstone in there and only rising. It's rising incredibly quickly. Jeez. All right. So now that I've finished up that farm, I did go ahead over here and add the acceleration and displacement runes. So we have this guy functioning. He's slowly crafting. Uh, he can't craft the third, fourth, or fifth tier. Wait, no, he can craft the third tier slates. He can't craft the fourth or fifth tier slates, so I think he's stuck right now. I don't know why the altar is a he, but it is. Um, so yeah, we need to add more blank runes, but I don't have the dark steel for that. So I'm thinking later in the episode, we'll set up some passive production if I can get something like the iron seeds which i think do require yeah superior essence which requires an intermediate infusion crystal which requires some gaia spirits so you know next thing's next let's fight the gaia guardian i also need a beacon and i think it does have to be activated maybe are we out of obsidian no it's compressed obsidian we are out of obsidian uh did i make i made obsidian seeds right i'm gonna go set those up Okay, the obsidian seed is 10, 10, 10, and in the farm, and it looks like it's doing quite well. Uh, and now I have also set up the ritual of Gaia fight here. We're going to need a little bit of Terra steel for it. Let me make maybe 10. As you can see, it does have to craft some mana pearls, some mana diamonds, some, or not any mana steel, but the other two. Uh, it will automatically do that very quickly. Um, it looks like it probably already has. And then it should have shoved all the stuff in there, and every 8 seconds, it will send a new craft down to be completed. And as you can see, the crafts are completed incredibly quickly because it's being fed by, like, 50-odd mana pools. Um, can I check how much mana we actually have in these? Uh, almost half in each one now. Uh, each mana pool can do... Two? I think it's half a mana pool per terra steel, so we can make almost 100 terra steel ingots at a time, which is really good. To fight the Guardian of Gaia, you want to have, well, really good gear, first of all. Um, I don't have great gear, but I have this multi shot bow, which should uh, basically get, like, it makes him, makes so you can feasibly skip his, enti his entire, like, mob phase. I don't know if we'll be able to do that, but I'm going to try. And then you just do that and it looks like they're in substructions because we have a couple things in the circle still so let me clear those out and probably do a little bit of destruction over here and i'll be right back all right i've cleared out a little more area it's ugly but hey we get to fight the guardian of gaia and it's got some really cool music let's actually see if i can skip through this fight so he should spawn teleport and then i need to shoot him shoot him and if i shoot him right here it should skip his phase no i would need to get better power on my bow i think i need power five and there we go i missed killing him and there's a stupid skeleton that won't die over there but 
he is dead. We got our first eight Gaia Spirits, which is actually the perfect amount of Gaia Spirits. What's this? Crystal Shard. Not something useful. There were a lot of mobs in that second stage, and I promise the second part of the fight that you missed, it wasn't anything special. Literally just, um, literally just me shooting him one more time. That that's why I didn't. That's why I forgot to press record. Uh, okay, so what I can do is turn those Gaia spirits into the thing that we want. That's not how you spell Gaia. That is how you spell Gaia. And you do this. Where is it? I might have found the first semi-broken recipe in this pack. You can't make the inf... Wait, is it? Uh, yeah, intermedium infusion crystal. You can't make it with the uh, used up prudentium one. It has to be a fully charged one. Kind of obnoxious because it only uses one durability point, but hey, I guess it's fine. Uh, now I can use this to make a bunch of this. And I went ahead and crafted up four superium. Well... Actually, I crafted up more than that, but four is what we need to make the iron seed. Uh, I missed two of these, and there we go. It should do its thing and finish itself off easily. Uh, is this... Oh, I have a thing in my hand. Oh, uh, it is filtered, so I'm going to have to grab this on my own, but it should be fairly quickly. Fairly quickly. Fairly quick. And there we go. The iron seeds. Perfect. I'm going to save those other four Gaia shards in order to fight the uh, tier 2 Gaia, but for now, I'm going to level up the coal and iron seeds, and then let's set up an auto production of electrical steel and uh, dark steel, because those are two very commonly used resources, and if I can just have them going automatically, oh, that'd be so nice. And here we go. Uh, this might look a little bit confusing. It's actually incredibly simple. Um, if you remember a couple episodes uh, when I was setting up this, which is concentrated cloud seed. I don't remember what that's for, but I'm sure it's for something. Um, I needed to make pulverized silver, and I said that I would make this expandable into the sky. Uh, we're doing that now. We're uh, creating coal, pulverized coal. Uh, you also get a little bit of sulfur byproduct with this. What I'm doing is I'm sending it into this drawer right here as a double drawer, and I'm just trashing, trashing specifically only the sulfur coming from the drawer controller so we don't get it uh, clogging up our system in any way. Then I'm sending stuff over here. I made another unit right here. I changed it slightly so the interface had an extra block, um, but I'm putting the ingredients for electrical steel and dark steel ingots into this thing. It's connected to this drawer controller, which is connected to the store, the uh, ME system, and the inputs are coming from this interface. So yeah, now we have electrical steel and dark steel fully automated. Um, what else can I get doing? One thing I did want to do was change the location of this portal right here. It was right next to this guy, which picks up mana diamonds, mana pearls, and mana steel. Um, the main things that actually go through this thing. So now it's over here, and I think it's... Dogs are barking in the background again. I think it's out of range of everything else. Jeez, they're so loud. Uh-oh. <laughs> that was not planned, I promise. Um, I, I actually decided, let's go ahead and fight the second tier Gaia Guardian, because I think I'm going to try and get into Thomcraft this episode. We probably have the entire ability to, and I have a ton of these initial V crystals because we did the ran the miner so it should be incredibly easy early game farmcraft should be so so cake um as long as i can survive this fight yeah so um i didn't survive the fight and my stuff's all the way up there gosh dang it all right let's try this again I've changed a couple things. I also had to kill the first Gaia Spirit once again. Um, I have a full stack of red hearts to munch down on, and I have regeneration three from that thing over there. So hopefully that will save me from the wither. I'm gonna put the red hearts right there. Um, I should. I have no issues getting to the mob phase, but once we get to the mob phase, the wither that he gives us is terrible. Those little guys that he has floating around, they wither you, and it's so loud. See, I'm gonna die. See, I need to just spam eat those hearts. Um, okay, I think I might be able to manage this. Okay, I'm dead, but I 
did just barely manage to kill him. I know I didn't get it on camera, and that's because, um, uh-oh, that guy's deadly. Uh, because I was about to die, and I ended up dying, but I did get the guy. As you can see, there's the Dice of Fate, and there's our stuff. Okay, time to go sleep. And from now on, actually, since I have that fight available, if I can make it a little bit easier, if I can get one of the Dice of Fates, I think one of them uh, makes you immune to Wither in some way, or gives you like an extra 10 hearts or something really cool like that. Uh, that's how I'm going to get my runes from now, because the second tier Gaia Guardian boss can drop every single type of rune, So, and I can just farm the Gaia Spirit and gets, it'll be easy. I could get um, Multi-Shot 4, inf or a Power 5, and some other good stuff on this bow, and just break through his mob phase it would be super easy to farm stuff like that as you can see i tried to make this wither resistance charm but you have to have supremium armor to get it and uh, that one requires thaumium but two requires supremium which requires this which requires a drosium which is a runic matrix crafting recipe which is kind of the point we're heading towards in this episode um now that i've got that have i opened up a Thaumaturge's journey. I have. So we need to make some Salus Mundus, which is made with Molly Bendum, and a little bit of V. You know what the best part of this episode so far is? It's this electrical steel. I no longer say I want 32 more patterns, have to wait for the electrical steel to craft. I just have to wait for like the seeds and stuff to grow. So we'll get our patterns like 10 times more quickly now because this is being passively crafted. So basically it's it's front or it's wait yes it's front loading the crafting so we don't have to deal with some hard stuff oh i still haven't dealt with ambustio and eh, we'll deal with that eventually i don't actually need patterns right now i'm getting close to needing them but i just wanted to make it all right i've got some salus mundus i probably need a thalmonomicon first so let's make three books and turn these bad boys into a bookshelf. The way you make a Thalmonomicon is you place a bookshelf in the world, put some Salus Mundus on it, and it will drop into the Thalmonomicon. Um, you will see as I open this Thalmonomicon that I actually have all of the research unlocked. Um, I am not going to do the research in this playthrough. I will do every single research in Grand Tech New Horizons Season 2, but I'm not going to do it here. I will choose one playthrough to do the research in since I've never properly done it all the way through, and then I will never do it again. So yeah, this will not be that series, but uh, we will eventually have that series. I'm also going to need a cauldron to do some crafting in. The way you make that is you get a normal Minecraft cauldron, Salus Mundus on it, and it turns into the Thaumonomicon cauldron. Uh, we're going to use this for our initial crafting uh, once we get some, what are they called? Uh, alchem, wait, alchemical constructs. As soon as we can make a couple of these, it doesn't look like they're actually all that hard to make. Uh, we can make a better version of the cauldron, but let's just follow the quests for now. We also want an arcane workbench. Guess what? We need a crafting table and some Salus Mundus. And that turns into the arcane workbench and there we go uh, this thing actually holds the v crystals and hat or uh, pulls v from the chunk in order to do its crafting we will get into that more later and next step is probably to get into a little bit of crafting let's go ahead first things first oh geez oh geez i don't like this so here we have the arcane workbench all set up, all six sets of crystals in it, and the crucible right here. Um, we want a way of filling up this crucible. We're probably going to do that the same way. Let's actually te test something. Uh, can you take the water out of the crucible? It looks like you can't. So that's, that means we can just make some ender of wars, make a mechanical user. Uh, ooh, mechanical user. Dang, uh, I am going to have to do a little bit of crafting, but we can set up the same system we have over here to fill it so we don't have to do it by hand. We could also go ahead and fill it by hand until we get to the ever full urn, which I could actually make right now. You know what? Let's do it the Thalmcraft way. I'll make the ever full urn. 
So the way the crucible works is you throw aspects in it, or uh, items that have these aspects in it, or you can throw the V crystal types. There are V crystals for each thing. I'm not gonna look to find them right now. Um, we will get some of those actually, because we're gonna need to clean up our mess using not silver, sliver. Uh, and I have 132,000 of them. I'll grab a couple stacks. So to make the ever full urn, we need 30 water, 10 fabrico, and no, 30 aqua, 10 fabrico, 10 terra. Uh, clay has aqua and terra, so I'm going to put eight terra or eight aqua, eight clays in there in order to get a little extra aqua and a little extra terra and one crafting table, which has 20 Fabrico. Uh, we're overdoing it a little bit because things do decay over time, but with those two in there and then that, we should get the ever full urn, which will allow me to place it next to this and that will slowly but surely fill up this crucible. Um, it needs to generate its own water first and then it'll start sending to nearby things. As you can see, we just went from nine, or, uh, 950 mil buckets to 1,000 and it's slowly generating some water in here so it'll fill up fast in between. But since we have a little extra stuff in there, you can see there's little puffs coming off. We do wanna throw some coarse slivers in there in order to clean up, and I'll just step back and let the water boil and hopefully clean up all of our mess. And it looks like the mess is entirely cleaned up. It does hurt you if you stand in it, but like not significantly. And as you can see, we have uh, these weird V crystal aspects. A very cool mod, however, that I've never actually... Oh my god, seriously? Again, twice in one episode? And what is this? Oh, uh, actually, I don't know. I don't know why I gave... Hello, cat. My cat is rubbing against the mic. I don't know if you can hear it. He's being obnoxious. He has left. Uh, he's gotten enough love today. Uh, don't worry. He is not uh, a... a uh, what? Not malnourished. That's not the word. I... Uh, neglected? I guess neglected is the word. He's not a neglected cat. He's a very, very well-loved cat. And he killed a lizard earlier today and none of us said anything about it. So he's he's living life. Uh, a very cool mod that we haven't played with yet, I've never played with actually, ever, um, is Thomic Energistics. It's basically Thomcraft, but like applied energistics. Um, it is missing one key feature, the... Uh, what, essential le level emitter, which basically makes this pack borderline impossible to fully automate. I That does actually mean I'm going to add one mod to this pack. It's going to be a Thomcraft add-on mod, just so I can set up a certain type of farm for our Essentia. Um, I don't want to grind in the way that this pack requires for Essentia. I think Essentia is a very interesting concept, not something that I enjoy in any way. So we will be not doing that much of that okay we have five of eight channels here which means i ought to be able to just grab a little bit of cable and put this thongcraft crafting table terminal right there it also immediately obsoletes our other crafting table so i just kind of got rid of it and i do want to sort this by number of items top to bottom and yeah, you put the V crystals over here. You can put a an upgrade. Uh, we want the charger, the Thongcraft charger. Oh, it's not synchronized to Applied Energistics. Well, the recipe for the thing I want to make, the charging upgrade for the Arcane Terminal, requires great wood planks. And I don't know how I'm supposed to make great wood but also it's necessary in this kind of thing. Uh, I have not seen any great wood in this entire world yet. Uh, I haven't, there's no recipe for the great wood sapling. I assume they spawn in game. I don't know if I've seen silver wood, but I know for a fact I've never seen a great wood tree. So I guess I'll uh, run around for a little while, maybe try to find one of those magical forest biomes, because those are Thongcraft specific biomes, I think. Though, I would guess the chances of me actually finding one of those is fairly rare. Uh, maybe I can do this and see. Oh, Magical Forest. We are going here. And what do you know? First thing I see in the Magical Forest is a great wood, and there's some silver wood over there. Uh, these things are a little obnoxious, and they don't play nicely with Vein Miner. 
but we should get a little bit that a little bit of oh i have silk touch on the leaves that's not going to work too hot uh i'm just going to grab a bunch of great wood logs and leave a terrible terrible tree and i'll probably grab a little bit of silverwood too i have one great wood sapling we can set up a farm maybe to make great wood i don't think i need that much great wood though maybe i can just come back here whenever I desire a little bit of this stuff. And there's the silver wood too. So let's go home. Okay, here's the workbench charger, and you can see it requires 200 V, and it will just suck that out of the chunk. Uh, the workbench charger needs to be combined with an advanced card, which I can just go ahead and order, I think. Yep, to make the arcane crafting upgrade. Um, this is the charger just for the crafting terminal. Um, I don't need that, I need that and advanced card right there and it requires only 25v and if you do that immediately we see we jump to 2100 available v because it's able to pull out of the eight adjacent chunks so our crafting terminal is in this chunk it can pull from the v in this chunk 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 and this chunk which is you know very beneficial for crafting I could continue on with all of this stuff, get a little bit deeper into Thawncraft, but there's some stuff that I need to automate that I just don't want to do right now, and we're getting towards the end of the episode anyways, so I think I might call it a day here. Next one will be more in-depth, I think, uh, and I know the last couple episodes haven't been the longest, but it's just because things in this pack are starting to take an incredibly long time to get done. Like, I've I've spent like three or four hours recording this episode. I know it might not look it, and it, I've probably been a little efficient, inefficient while I do it, but uh, we, we, we've done a lot of stuff today. And since this is an expert pack, crafting recipes are a little bit difficult. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, maybe leave a like or something. Have a fantastic day. And I'll see you in the next one where we will get a bunch done. I promise we will have the runic matrix for sure. Okay. Bye-bye.